Sweden is today known as one of the richest countries in Europe. It has not always been like that. In the old days, it was not easy to keep comfortable in a country with cold weather and long distances. But hard-working Swedes were able to take advantage of the country's natural resources, among which there were vast forests with trees and water, the basic ingredients for paper production. Thus, one of the industries that supported the development of the country was the forest and paper industry, which means factories producing pulp, cardboard, printing paper, and eventually, tissue. One of these industries was a small paper mill in a rather small village, which today is one of the oldest living paper mills in Sweden, and surely one of the oldest mills in Europe. That village was Shisa, and that company was established at Foshor, along the Shisa River and its beautiful surroundings. The mill was for many years known as Longechonäs Bruk. Many years have passed, and many machines have been assembled and dismantled in that company. And of course, many things have changed, but not the passion to produce paper. It was this passion that took this small company on a new journey, within a new family and on a long path to build its new future. The company is today named Swedish Tissue, and since 2010 belongs to a big family called Sofidel. Sofidel is a family-owned Italian group based in Tuscany, and it is the second largest producer of tissue in Europe, and the sixth largest worldwide. It was founded in 1966 by the two friends, Giuseppe Lazzareschi and Emmy Stefani. Sofidel first became established in Italy. In 1990, it expanded to the whole of Europe, and in 2012, established itself in the US. One of the biggest steps in Sofidel's expansion was the acquisition of the LPC Group and of Swedish Tissue as a part of it. The entrance of Sofidel into Swedish Tissue was a total surprise. Swedish Tissue had for many years focused on a wide range of niche products within the tissue business, such as paper for diapers, medical usage, personal hygiene, agriculture and more. Sofidel, on the other hand, was focused mainly on the production of kitchen towels and toilet tissue. It was not difficult to associate the idea to combine the expertise to produce such demanding paper into the core business of Sofidel, in order to offer unique and different products to customers and final consumers in Scandinavia. A concept very easy to think, but not so easy to realise, as Swedish tissue missed the most important thing a complete production site to convert the paper. But once again, Sofidel made things happen. In December 2013, the board of Sofidel approved this strategic project to build a brand new converting plant, an investment of around half a billion Swedish crowns. After some months of initial work to divert the Shisa River, and thus create space for the new plant, ground preparation took place. Around mid-year 2014, a new area of 25,000 square meters was ready to be built. A building designed to, amongst other things, contain space for two converting lines. One line for kitchen towels and one line for toilet tissue. It took 10 months of construction until March 2015, when the first production line finally arrived to Swedish Tissue. A new building was ready to welcome not only modern converting machines, but much more. A new concept was introduced in Swedish Tissue, a concept based on a highly automated warehouse, a so-called smart store. The automation is the real challenge of this Sofidel project. There are two main parts of automatic movements. In the first part, the big parent reels produced by PM3 are automatically moved from the paper machine to the warehouse and later to the converting lines. In the second part, the smart store, 
Each pallet is stocked in one of the five levels of the warehouse, which contain 88 rows, and it is tracked into its position until a customer order calls it out to the shipping area. The new smart store can contain approximately 9,000 pallets, equal to 180 trucks, of which one truck can be prepared every 45 minutes. As usual, to achieve all this automation, it was necessary to count on high human dedication. Over 100 people from 25 contractors and nine different nationalities have been working at the site. It took many contractors many months to build a site that contains over 40 kilometers of cables for data, 20 kilometers of pipes in the ground surrounded by more than 13,000 tons of concrete. All of this effort was successfully awarded with the startup of the two converting machines during the summer of 2015. But again, it is not only from the machines that Swedish tissue expects performance. The combination of old passion for producing paper and the new advanced technology means that Swedish tissue employees now have the conditions to bring the mill into a new era. The new Swedish tissue has the responsibility to provide Scandinavian consumers new and better products, so that in a few years from now, it can be said once again that Sweden has further developed such simple products as kitchen towels and toilet tissue.